Alright, hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only, and today we're gonna be playing some Dragon Blaze, and it's hot as hell in my room, and I wanna get this over with. So, the first thing we're gonna go over is patch notes for the 10th. Okay, yes. Yeah. Patch notes for the 10th. iPhones will now get, well, iPhone X will now get full screen adjustments. Um, it seems pub battles are coming to us. At least I think this is pub battles. It's called Adventurer's Century Open. So I'm pretty sure this is still going to be AI based. I'm pretty sure it won't change from that. <laughs> I'm really hoping they added a lot of new things to the metal shop. Because the metal shop needs updating. It really does. Still waiting on the Encanter's, you know, PvP outfit, but I don't think they're ever gonna work on that. I don't know. I think maybe they're like costume designer just has been focusing on mostly characters now. Which is kinda unfortunate to see because you know we love costumes in the game. Really hope they settle down and start making costumes as like, you know, somewhat of an end game <laughs> at some point. I mean, you can't keep going up rarity after rarity after rarity. You need this resource after this resource. Like, that that's just insane as we keep going up. But we're going to see where Dragon Blade's future relies when it's going to be the last season. I'm not saying that I wanted to end anytime soon. I'm just saying that there's a lot that they've been doing. Uh, the next login, we're going to be getting another arc transelect so this is good for those who have been farming resources if you want to give that get the alternative for reward or if you want another arc and you feel too lazy to go get another one <laughs> which i am probably going to just take the arc and just say screw it i think i will get uh um, till just get ready for the paladin uh, re returning and new player rewards are back up. So if you guys are returning to the game, you would potentially get two, two transcendent arc selectors. New players would basically get two as well when they come in. So that's actually pretty perfect for starting off. So if you're trying to find a good time to get into Dragon Blaze, this is definitely the right time once this event goes off though on the 7 11 which is basically tomorrow just give it like half of a day and this should be here for you guys to start logging in as of right now yeah don't say it's a good idea because i'm pretty sure it's when you make the account you get this and when you return you get this I'm not sure if it's going to be like within that date though. Yeah. So if you don't have a history of logging in through these times, then you're pretty much golden. So that's pretty much last month. And now we're going to be getting a new uh, login reward. Oh, another ancient dragon charm. That can go well with the one ancient one we have. Then we got to go buy the last one which is going to be annoying unless they have it available for us in the future then we can complete the whole set in the future but i'm not sure if they're actually gonna you know do that i think they're just gonna leave us with a cliffhanger with just two and tell us to buy the other one which i'm pretty sure a lot of people have done already and is this coming to an end or is it continuing Okay, no, it's, it's coming to an end, which is unfortunate, because I was actually enjoying this a lot. There were so many resources that came from that. Soul Select event is coming to an end. Burning Pods are coming to an end. Well, this is pretty much two purchasable things that are coming to the end. So you guys have... Yeah, this is pretty much the last day to get these. So make sure to buy these if you are a spender in this game. All right, so... I do kind of want to go over a little bit of PvP since they're so intended on, you know, basically making the game 
fully auto. Which is pretty much the Korean version, I'm pretty sure. Because they're so, you know, aimed towards full auto. I'm pretty sure Pub is going to be full auto, or Sanctuary is going to be full auto. Which is, I wouldn't say it's a completely bad thing, but it is kind of annoying that there are more and more games that are becoming auto, which is unfortunate. But you know, it, it happens. Sometimes we get used to it. Sometimes people don't. Oh, I should just put uh, try again. But yeah, a lot of games go full auto. And strategies, you know, people like to put in strategy. Even though Dragon Blaze didn't, near, didn't really start off with strategy. Um, the only people you could actually use skills with were your characters, your main characters. Your main characters were the only ones you could actually manage your skills. The allies were the ones who just fought with you and used their own skills. But now they completely just change it to full auto, which I can't use any of this anymore. Which is unfortunate. I'm pretty sure that's when they lost like a lot of players when that happened. But as soon as it went full auto, then people started quitting. And around the time, um, pretty sure keys came around. Buster keys. When Buster keys came around, it started. People finally started to notice that you can actually pick the skills you wanted to use, which was, which this happened way before Buster keys came around. Believe it or not. And not a lot of people actually noticed or figured it out that that, that was what was happening. Which kind of does suck, but if anything, Dragon Blaze is still enjoyable depending on what type of person you are, you know? Like, if you're already used to the whole auto PvP and arena games like I am, and a certain amount of players who are still here, you know, just still farming and playing. Then you should be able to get into the game actually pretty easy. It's not really all that bad, to be honest. Considering we did like the strategy and everything behind it, it's still not all that bad. Because we mostly still play because of the characters that look really amazing. I mean, I love Dragon Blade's art style. It's just that they started to slack a little bit and a lot of player base started to lose you know a little bit of faith just because they stopped making costumes they started well pretty much uh hold on let me start over they stopped making costumes and they started to slack inside of the metal shop and they were just rushing out characters after characters trying to catch us up to the korean version for some reason which I doubt we will ever do, and no game has ever. Well, I don't. I can't say that no game has ever like caught up to their Korean like side. But normally, when a game starts on a certain console, or let's use Warframe as an example. Warframe started on PC, and slowly the console versions are pretty far behind, which leaves no crossplay for anyone just because they're pretty far behind the console which is pretty much xbox and playstation are behind the pc version of warframe and i don't think they're going to catch up anytime soon at the moment unless they just pump out update after update which i'm pretty sure they won't do because that's going to cause like a crap ton of bugs but i'm pretty sure people really don't care about that as long as they can grind and work towards it and be ready for what's coming to them. I mean, I haven't really heard of any like, console people complaining that much about the PC version being ahead. I mean, they still get the stuff that the PC version gets. Unless it's like costume exclusives, which not as tend don't happen, but still.
But yeah, pretty much most Korean games that start first are always ahead of the global version. There's no reason to try and catch them up. But I do get that they're trying to keep us from getting like too far behind. I do get that. But trying to rush us, well, I've seen multiple games try to rush us towards the green version and end up completely destroying the game for like a whole, well, nearly a whole week, which I haven't seen the developers of Dragon Blaze do. I just seen them kind of like, you know, trying to keep us up to, to where the green version is. Ah, 420, I think that's a good place to stop. <laughs> but yeah, just a little bit of like, you know, thinking about that. I've just been thinking about that for a, like a while now of pretty much how they've been trying to keep us up to date and close to pretty much the Korean version or Japanese version. Wait, actually it was just the Korean version. Why did I say Japanese version? <laughs> Yeah, Korean Dragon Blaze is getting a lot of interesting things. I think somebody said they were entering Season 6 now? Which you guys know I don't really keep up with Korean Dragon Blaze anymore. I've just been focusing on Global. To be honest, <laughs> the reason I still, you know, just farm in Dragon Blaze is not because, you know, all the grind. It's just because I just need a game to farm while I'm asleep. <laughs> I always leave at least one game up to farm while I am asleep. And Dragon Blaze is pretty much the number one contender for that. Considering that a lot of games really don't have that continuous farm, I definitely can't do it in the Alchemist code because they don't have a freaking uh, replay system to where, well, an auto replay system to where if you finish the stage, you go automatically back in. Dragon Blaze does. So thankfully for that. Uh, actually, I think I'm going to do this. I'm gonna try and waste that invisibility of yours. And now I'm gonna change here. I kind of want to see how this matchup goes. But. That's going to hurt. I don't know. Fans already out. Uh, I forgot what I was talking about. God damn it. Uh... I, I got distracted. God damn it. I'll, I'll remember. I swear. Hold on. After this battle, I'll go back and check with see what I was saying. Oh yeah, I think I remember. I think it was... I was talking about um, auto farming this. Just because, like I was saying, a lot of games don't have like the option to, you know, auto replay. Which is kind of unfortunate. Because a lot of games should have that. Oh jeez. Oh no, we, we've lost. And I'm pretty sure Diane can't take this dude out, so... That's pretty much GG. And that stun kind of wastes Kronos' uh, shield. I wouldn't even recommend doing that combo. But yeah, a lot of games really don't have that function. And even if a game does have that function, there's not a way to hold on to stamina. <laughs> like in Dragon Blaze, it's easy to get stamina just because there's so many crystals and gems and stuff. But in other games, you would have to use that towards summoning just to get better units and better, like, overall team. Which is kind of like forcing you to choose which one you want to do. Do you want to expand your team or do you want to farm overnight? And inside of Knight's Chronicle, I can't really do that unless the dungeons are half off then I would actually do that. So the thing with Knight's Chronicle is basically you don't farm anywhere in story. Unless you feel the need to farm in story just to level up. Just because 
once you're in like the higher like modes inside of story you start to get more xp than the special dungeons will give you but the special dungeons would have like the unique items you would need to pretty much evolve your characters and expand them but they would need to be half off because pretty much the game is using 32 of your stamina and stamina inside of knight's chronicle is kind of a little bit eh, okay now that they changed uh to where if you have 200 friendship points you can put you can turn it into 200 stamina which is actually pretty nice now we have another source of getting stamina which does help so you know it could cost a little bit of auto farm but you would only get like a few rounds it wouldn't last overnight dragon blades is the only game i know i can pretty much farm overnight with just a thousand shoes it's not a challenger dungeon well a little bit of a uh, fantasy war tactics they're there a little bit because they kind of give an option of that too but once you're low on like potions and shoes and stuff it takes forever to get back into the point where you can still night farm but dragon blaze is the only one that does it way better for night farming i should probably end it up here and not drag on anymore so i'm gonna change to ran here so we can clean up everybody But yeah, I enjoy these talks. To be honest, I've been thinking about making sort of a series just talk, sitting here talking about games or pretty much life. I'm pretty sure I've talked about this before. Like talking about actually doing things like that, but I'm not sure how it would go with the, with my community yet. Maybe it'll like, become like a enjoyable thing for you guys. I'll just have to think about it. Right now, I'm trying to get all my Twitch videos out of the way just because I've made like a lot of playthroughs on Twitch and just, <laughs> I'm actually doing another one at this current moment um, I still have Yamawari to finish uploading I already finished uploading Monstrum which I have to re-upload because it was like really too dark I'm kind of adjusting the video a little bit um, then I have Life is Strange to upload which is going to be annoying because I got to go through all the parts and pretty much I want well I'm not going to edit out all the muted parts because those were copyrighted music anyway so that will save me the trouble of cl clipping out the copyrighted parts since Twitch muted it I'll just basically put text over saying hey this this part has been muted due to copyright copyrighted music you know <laughs> And then we're doing Remothered at the moment. Then I'm going to have to upload that. Yeah, so I have a lot to do. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time on the next video or live stream. Peace out. Swear it's going to get better real soon. Don't let anyone tell you what you should do. I got a clear view. We're going to make it soon. Just keep pushing through. You're what you got to lose. You're what you got to lose. You're what you got to lose. Just keep pushing through. Cause what you got to lose.